but with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds, piping to us in vain, as in revenge, have sucked up from the sea contagious fogs. Which falling in the land have every petting river made so proud that they have overborne their continents. The ox hath therefore stretched his yoke in vain, the ploughman lost his sweat, and the green corn hath rotted ere his youth attained a beard. The foal stands empty in the drowned field, and the crows are fatted with the moraine flock. The nine men's morris is filled up with mud, and the quaint mazes on the wanton green for lack of tread are indistinguishable. The human mortals want their winter here. No night is now with him or Carol blessed. Therefore the moon, the governess of floods, pale in her anger, washes all the air, that rheumatic diseases do abound. And through this distemperature, we see the seasons alter. Hoary-headed frosts fall into the fresh lap of the crimson rose. And on old Himes's thin and icy blast, an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds is, as in mockery, set. The spring, the summer, the childing autumn, angry winter change. Their wanted liveries. And the mazed world, by their increase, now knows not which is which. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original.